Hello, I'm Missy and this is Lizzy Reads and welcome to my books I'm going to take with me into a lockdown video. Um this is one of one of I'm not sure if it's the last one, um I'm not sure when you're going to see this videos that you'll see with this background as um if you have been subscribed to me all year I did move into my boyfriend's place uh, with his parents during lockdown and for quite some time afterwards um i've not been back in with my parents and like mingling between both households for very long um we are currently in a tier one in um the southeast location that i live in um we're currently in tier one where i live so um on thursday so we were able to mingle until thursday um and I will be moving back in with my boyfriend because that is the easiest place for us both to live and see each other um, regularly um, and everything. It'll be really be a bit of a sad one because this month is my birthday um, but overall it would be much easier. Um, and I am going to take some books with me to read during lockdown, hopefully, if I get any reading done. At the moment, it looks like I still will be working from home. Um, fingers crossed, obviously, everything goes ahead as suspected. Um, and I have a few books that I want to take with me that I'm definitely going to read during lockdown slash November TBR. I am participating in the Thousand Doors Readathon. And I would like to start Believe a Thorn, even though I haven't started my first book for it yet. And it's the second as I film this. Um, I'm just sort of mood reading a little bit. But there are some books I'm going to take with me. Because I know that they're on my immediate radar. And I should probably get them down, shouldn't I? I have already taken there the books that I didn't read off my October TBR. Which was quite a few of them. Um, I didn't do too good at my October TBR. It was... A bit of a rubbish reading month really for me um but two which i haven't taken there yet which i def i didn't get to are um nevermore and wonder smith and i have yet to actually buy um hollow pox because i thought i'd place it on pre-order but i actually hadn't um but i'll pick that one up once i've read those i'm not sure i'll get those all finished this month but um another two that i think are middle grade books that i think i'll really enjoy reading for believe upon and one of them is Orphans of the Tide by Stuart Murray. But it's about a young boy who washes up into a strange world and everyone that lives there believes he is the enemy. Um, I think this one sounds, looks really magical. And then I've got Monstrous Device by Damien Love. I've got Monstrous Device by Damien Love, which is about um, a robot that seems to sort of come to life and do a little bit of magic. Um then some other books that I've got that I sort of think I might be interested in. Oh, one of them, another middle grade. Um, Part of Your World, Twisted Tale, which is the uh, Little Mermaid for a little while. And I thought it might be one that would be, seem really easy to get to and read. And then also I have uh, Tidelands by Philippa Gregory, because I hear that this is fantastic. Um, uh, what's it called? Historical fiction. I feel like I'm really into historical fiction at this time of year and I think being indoors and cosy it might be nice to get sucked into a, quite a big chunky read. Um, one also I mean, I've had for so many years that I really think it'd be a good one to get to is A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. It is um, non-fiction November so I think this might be a really good one just to read for that and um, I think I could learn a lot from it. And then I have one, another one I've been meaning to read for such such a long time. And that is The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel, um, who wrote Station Eleven, which I loved. Um, I've been putting this off because I feel like I'm going to love it or maybe hate it. Um, I'm really not sure, but I've had this one for a little while, so I'm going to read that. And another one I've been really wanting to read for quite some time is The Rearranged Life of Una Lockhart. And that is by Margarita Montemore. Um, and every birthday she wakes up in a different body and what decade she doesn't know sorry about the noise that's why there's some work going on thank god this isn't an ASMR video um, 
Um, she wakes up in a different body in a different decade. My chair is a squeaky yoga ball, so this is quite loud. And so that's that. That the book that those are the books that are on my horizon at the moment. I know it doesn't seem to make sense because they aren't all my top tier books, but since I actually filmed and edited that video, a lot has changed in my mind, and I was thinking about doing a reorganisation of them anyway. I'll probably redo that video when I come back, but I like the idea of it, and I think. Um, in normal situations that would work quite well just not today so I've got a big old stack of books and I can't wait to get through them actually do some reading maybe this month I don't know mm, probably not 